Now, moving on, the Metropolitan Youth Symphony educates, develops, and promotes young musicians. They provide music education and performance opportunities for young musicians of all ages and levels of experience. And this is their 48th year. They've been doing this for a long time. Okay? They've got an extra special performance coming up on January 8th at the Newmark Theater. And here to tell us more is the music director and conductor, Raul Gomez Rojas and all classical Portland's ICANN program director, host, and producer, yeah. Sarah Zwinklis. Hi guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank Thanks you for, for having, having us. Yeah. No problem. So tell me a little more about the, the Youth Symphony. Sure, yeah. As you said, we're almost 50 years old, which is <laughs> yeah. amazing. This is my seventh year with the organization as music director. And yeah, we serve close to 500 students in 14 ensembles. We have full orchestras, we have jazz, we have bands, we have flutes, we have percussion. And uh, in addition to our ensembles, we have music theory, we have chamber music, we have a free beginning strings class for kids with no experience. And that. it's an organization that I'm you know, lucky to be a part of and I'm very proud of the work that we're doing. Yeah, so look, I told everyone in our intro that I was gonna ask this question because I'm sure there are a, a lot of young musicians out there looking for just any opportunity that they can get. How do people sign up to join this amazing group? Sure, yeah, we have auditions all year long. So the best way to do it is to go to our website. Mm -hmm. That's playmys.org and uh, young musicians will find all the information they need to audition into our groups. We have. Uh, a campus in Portland and we also have a growing satellite campus in Hillsboro. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about this performance coming up. Sure, yeah. Oh, it's so exciting. We're performing works from Julian Knott, who's a composer who wrote music to accompany Eric Carle's illustrations in animations, so films. And uh, Raul and I were talking about some amazing collaborations between our organization, MYS, and ICANN, which is All Classical Portland's children's station at ICANNradio.org. We uh, feature stories and art and music every day at no cost um, online. Yeah, and when we found these stories, so, you know, Eric Carl, it doesn't get more iconic than Eric Carl when it comes to, yeah. you know, children's books and, and art. And we found these videos online and, uh, you know, I thought we have to bring this to the stage. And for the Metropolitan Youth Symphony, what better partner than, you know, I can uh, and Old Classical Portland to bring this to life. So five magical stories with live orchestral accompaniment performed by the young musicians with the Metropolitan Youth Symphony and narrators from Old Classical Portland's I can. I love that because I was just about to ask what was the inspiration behind this collaboration and kind of picking mm. Eric Carl. But it... it kind of uh, gives the young people an education behind the the thing that they love so much and gives them an opportunity to play these amazing pieces of, of art, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know, well, when I think about music and storytelling here in Portland, I think of ICANN. But also, you know, storytelling is such a great way to come together as a community. And so is music, Yeah. right? So how magical is it to come to the theater the Newmark Theater on January 8th at yes. 4 p.m. <laughs> and just experience this, you know, families with their kids, you know, it's under one hour, uh, the concert, so it's great for younger kids, you know, and it's going to be a very inviting, very relaxed uh, atmosphere where, you know, if a kid wants to stand up and move, that's fine, you know, yeah. so we want to welcome everybody into the theater to experience the magic of Eric Carl's stories and the music by Julian Knott young musicians from Portland and our wonderful narrators. I love that. This is this seems just like such an amazing opportunity. If there are any young musicians out there, I feel like our, our audience at home does such an amazing job of coming out and supporting any kind of sponsors yes. and anyone that we have uh, on this couch. So I know that people will come out to support you guys. And we have all the information for you guys right there on your TV screens, January 8th, starting at 4 p.m. Go out, get a good show and 
Also, make sure those young musicians are signing up to join this group. I can't wait to see it grow. And you guys got to come back. You're almost 50, like you said. Yes, right. yes, please. And one <laughs> more thing. Starting at 3 p.m., we're going to have an instrument petting zoo. Oh. That means that young kids can come and try on a violin oh. or a clarinet or a drum. We'll have young musicians from MYS showing and demonstrating and allowing young kids to just try their hands that. at instruments. All right, so. I'm going to see if there's an age limit because oh, <laughs> there's come, no come, age limit. Like, come over. I think I might want to get out there and start. Oh, please do. <laughs> well, thank you so much to both of you for being here. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.